So from getting to enjoy all these great animes this season, it was so hard to choose from all these good ones we got this season. But one has really, really stuck out to me, and that was Call of the Night. It really just has brought back my interest in vampires, and the stories around them, and the Call of the Night has been dragging me in and just making me feel super, super invested from the main girl being a vampire, and also being very super attractive, and her cute smile that can cure depression, that smile mug grin so when i heard this vampire manga getting an anime and saw how captivating the trailer was i was hooked from the start from it and it was also just being recommended to me for a long time before the anime ever got announced and so i watched a couple of the episodes that are out of call of the night and it was amazing call of the night is a slice of life series where a kid named Ko has insomnia and despite him being a good kid having good grades he is dissatisfied with the school life he lives so one day he decides fuck it as the middle schoolers do and he decides to go on a walk he runs into a girl named nazana which he soon learns that she is secretly a vampire and is intrigued as everyone would be like who would want a vamp shoddy and she reveals that the only way for him to ever become a vampire is he has to fall in love with her so yeah he better get caught up on Twilight, that's for sure. So Cole decides to figure out uh, what love is and fall in love with Nazana so he can finally become a vampire. So we go off from here is a very surprising and unique slice of life rom-com. Supernatural and very interesting main duo. Like they work so well with each other. Like Nazana is a smug person. She actually is very normal, very funny, just to where she fits in so well. And even though she's a vampire, I just gotta say the fucking stuff that they do with this fucking girl we shouldn't be so blessed to have some of these shots of animation like i have been like god damn they've been making her look so fucking good like she got me you gonna make me act up <laughs> you don't make me do something i'm over good like truly it's a masterpiece for sure ko isn't your generic character like he actually develops a lot in the first couple episodes he actually goes out of his way to progress as a human being which is being missed with a lot of rom-coms that are out there he is always on his goal coming a vampire figuring out stuff about himself along the way but also how ko interacts with other characters and how he develops with them but usually everyday run-of-the-mill rom-com usually doesn't make stuff like this they usually make it feel lazy, like they're usually relying on the same old half-assed premises, which is using multiple girls to drag on the story and the other girls never get chosen. So like they open their closet and pull out the old. There is one more thing I want you to have. Unreliable! <laughs> so far, the colony hasn't been like that. It's shaking things up. Like, I think this anime sets itself up from being different from other anime. Like, have a very unique, interesting character concept. And what really helps the anime shine in the production quality, especially the real beauty of the story, is how it captures the sense of freedom and the peacefulness of wandering the streets at night. And the anime absolutely nailed it with the colors of the atmosphere, the music, as it fits in so well and makes the night look so breathtaking to look at and there are so many moments during the anime where you could just screenshot from how many good frames there are it would be a great wallpaper for any pc out there the opening and ending of the soundtrack too and the visuals make me so happy and how much of a banger the soundtrack is and how stunning the visuals are that's gonna be like the standard for the rest of the season like it's just gonna be amazing to constantly keep seeing how breathtaking it is so for seeing the series being different for like this for it being nocturnal it was a nice change that i didn't know i would like so much but having started reading the manga it looks so awesome too it makes me want to keep reading but i prefer the anime visually since it makes the night look so pleasing and it just fits so well in the vibe of nocturnal and everything of the night vibe that they're trying to give but still the manga is still very great and it's still really fire you guys might even just want to watch it for the sincerity of even though most of all of our takes place at night it never gets boring and how they keep it visually interesting and how it finds comfort in the dead of the night 
it reminds me on how I just don't have to worry about my responsibilities and crawling back at you and just not having to stress over anything that you up to so you can just have nothing to worry about so all so you can do what you want to do and no one will be there to stop you and so this is what i have felt watching this anime and it makes me so comforting to watch this and so it brings me everything together from going blind into this anime it was a wonderful experience that i'm glad i took away the time to watch and so for many of my rom-com fans out there take the dive you won't be disappointed and so i hope you all enjoyed this video remember to like and subscribe to the channel turn on all the bell notifications so you never miss a video and this is all i have to say this has been crystal klaus and i will see you all in the next one peace